I created a quick Photoshop action for you guys to help enhance eyes in Photoshop. So I'm gonna be working with this image today. So I'll open this up in RAW. So I'm just gonna open this as is. Before I start working on my eyes, I'm quickly just going to correct um, the color cast in this image. So I have an action for this. So if you guys would like to download this action, you can, I'll put a link for that so you can download that as well. So I'm just gonna run this. I'm just going to select my highlight color. Hit OK. OK. And then I'll select my shadow color. Hit OK. Hit OK. Okay, so that's done. So you can see I corrected the color cast pretty quickly. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on my eyes. So I'm just gonna show you the, the action first and then I'll sh actually show you how I created it. So we're gonna click on Eye Enhance and we're gonna hit play. Okay, so it's saying zoom into the eyes and paint on the iris of the eye Paint more strongly opposite the catch lights for a more realistic look. You can also paint the whites of the eyes to increase brightness and then press play after complete. So I'm just gonna hit stop. And then once I hit stop, it's gonna allow me to make those, those changes and then I can hit play to continue it. So I'm gonna hit stop. And then I'm select on my brush already. So I'm just gonna zoom in like it said. And then I will paint on my eye. So and you can adjust the size of your brush. So I'm just going to start painting. And you can see it's starting to get highlighted. So and I'm actually I'm just gonna paint a little more strongly opposite my catch light. So here's my catch light, I'm just gonna paint opposite so it'd be right right about here. And then I can do the whites of the eye as well. So usually when I do the whites of the eye, I'll do like one pass at most with with the brush. Just because you don't you don't want it too strong. And then I'll go to my other eye, do the same thing. So I got one pass with the white. And then I'll come to my iris. Okay, so I'm good with that. So next thing I'll do is I'll hit play. And then saying zoom into eyes and paint the ring around the iris of the eye. Decreasing intensity where the iris and ring meet. Press play when you're finished. So I'm just gonna hit stop. It's gonna allow me to make those changes. So I'm going to come in, I'm just going to paint. I'm just going to do like one, one or two passes around the outside. And then usually what I'll do is I'll increase my brush size just a little bit. And I'll just come on the inside right here just to smooth out those changes. And you can also do the inside of the eye if you want.
right, so I'm basically done with that. And then I'll just hit play to continue the action. And then it puts it in a nice um, group for me. So let me just zoom out. And if I'll, I'll hide the action. And then I'll show the action. And I'll zoom in just so you can see a little bit better. So this is hiding. And then this is with the action. So it's a real simple, easy action. Um, I use this all the time for pretty much all my images that I edit. And um, it just saves me a lot of time. So I'm actually, now I'm going to show you guys how we actually make the action. So I'm going to start out with a fresh image. So I have my original image here. And now I'm going to go to my actions. And I'm going to create a new action. I'm just going to call this test. And then we'll hit record. So first thing I need to do is create a new layer. So shift alt command N creates a new layer. I'm going to rename this to eyes highlights and then change the blend mode to overlay and hit OK. So now I need to reset my swatches, which is your black and white swatch down here. So I'm going to reset that to the original. So it's reset now, you can see. And then I'm going to hit X, which is going to exchange my swatches. And then the next thing I need to do is bring up my brush tool. So I'm going to hit B. It's going to select my brush. And I'm just going to put an opacity of, or a opacity of 100 and a flow of 3. Hit enter. And now I need to, let's see. So we have our highlights created. So now we do the same thing, but for our shadows. So I'm going to create a new layer. And we're going to rename this to shadow. We'll do, we'll do I shadows, hit enter, double click, change the blend mode to overlay, hit OK. And now I need to switch my swatch. So I'm going to hit X. It's going to switch back to black. And then I will select these two eye shadows and eye highlights. So I'll just hit shift and then select the two. And then I'll hit control G. It's going to put them into a group. And then I can call this eye enhancements and hit OK. So now if I stop my action and then we go back to history, um, go back to your original image, then we'll go back to actions, and then we we'll go to our test and we'll run this. So you can see it puts everything into the eye enhancements. And if we open this up, we should have eye shadows and eye highlights. So we're not finished yet. We have to um, make some changes. So let's go through each step of the action. So we have our make layer, set current layer. It's going to change this to eye highlights. And then it's going to set the set to the layer to overlay. And then we'll do so let's ex reset the swatches and then exchange the swatches so it's going to bring up white as your color and you're going to select your brush so what we need to do is after this one we need to insert a stop and for this we will um, just add a little dialogue in there and we'll say paint white 
to highlight areas of I. So I'm just going to make this brief. Um, and then I'll hit OK. And then we have to do the same thing for after exchange swatches. And we'll change this to, we'll do an insert stop. And then we'll do, um, so paint to darken areas of the eye. And hit OK. All right, so looks like I'm set. So let's just go back to history, go back to original, actions, test, and I'll run this, hit play. So paint white highlight areas. I now just hit stop. So I should be selected on my brush. And I zoom in. So I'm just going to do this quick just to show you guys that it works. So I'll just do one eye for now. And then hit play again. Paint to darken areas of eye. Okay. So you can see it's switched to black. So I'm just going to do this quickly. And I'll hit play again. And then there we go. It puts it to the group. And now what I can do is I can actually open up this group. Um, if I feel like either the shadow or highlight is just too strong, I can hit on eyeshadows. If I want to bring this down, I can reduce the opacity. And if I think my highlights are too strong, I can also bring the opacity down. And then the last thing I can do is I can actually, as an entire group, I can adjust the opacity. So I can reduce it, and I can strengthen it. So hopefully this helped you guys out. It's a quick little tutorial. Um, if you guys want to actually download this action, I'll put a link in the description, and I'll put one on the video so you can go download it.